you are at the helm of the Zambia Association of Musicians. Uh, what would you say is the role of um, musicians in development? Well, the role of musicians in development is uh, quite vast because you can take it uh, from quite a number of angles. But first and foremost, let me address the issue of employment. Uh, music is a huge source of employment, directly and indirectly, in the sense that uh, when there is a, a single musical activity, it translates into a lot of economic activity, not only in the music itself, but also in other sectors like the telecommunications, the transport sector, everybody is running around, you know, the caterers are selling food, the, 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 you know, the brewers are selling uh, beer and soft drinks, you know, so there is all that economic activity that is generated through just one musical activity, so it's a major contributor to any nation's uh, uh, development. Uh, I must uh, mention here that uh, a case in point is uh, ABBA in Sweden, who at, in one year grossed more than anybody else, more than Volvo. So that's a testimony also of the export uh, uh, potential of the music. Uh, when you talk of issues like the cultural heritage of a nation, music is the custodian of the cultural heritage because all these forgotten cultures, the trends, you know, the styles that have been, you know, uh, uh, given to us by the, our forefathers and people like that, can be translated into music, and these can be stored in a piece of music through the artistic forms, maybe through video, through the way we sing, the way we dance, you know, the way we behave, because music is quite a strong vehicle in influencing. Uh, the attitudes of the people. In the Zambia situation here, would you say that musicians in Zambia are influencing development? Yes, definitely. Musicians are influencing development in the sense that uh, I've spoken about uh, the uh, economic activities that are in the uh, that, that occur as a result of musical activities, but also as you know, mass communicators. You know, our countries uh, depend on mass communication for government policy, for economic policies to be had. And music is a very, very strong vehicle. Uh, when you talk of issues like HIV and AIDS, for example, in Zambia, music has been a huge vehicle for dissemination of information in, uh, related uh, to HIV and AIDS. And, you know, when you talk of issues like elections, for example, those are just a few issues that music has been used uh, to, 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 to forward economic development of the country. So musicians are huge contributors to any country's economy. You've raised uh, a few aspects in as far as economic development is concerned, uh, where Zambian musicians are playing a part. But uh, what about the role of government in working with musicians? Is it, is it coordinated? Well, I must say that in Zambia's case, the role of government in the economic development of the music industry is not coordinated as yet. And uh, this is where uh, the problem begins because you need to have a government that understands the economic aspects of an arts industry, a creative industry. And so I must say there's very, very few people in, the, in our current government that seem to understand the importance of music and other arts as an industry. And so we are struggling quite a bit to you know, forward uh, proposals and suggestions to the government of the day uh, in the hope that they will begin to see uh, economic potential in the music and begin to create policies that are going to be uh, art friendly if I may say because the business of arts needs certain kind of investment you know which can be encouraged by the policies that a government puts in place 
and also you know government can directly support the arts in as far as uh, you know issues like schools of music are concerned you know the skills development of any trade is very very important and without skilled musicians in the country you are going to continue having mediocre kind of productions which will not translate into money and therefore it's important that government uh, government takes a leading role in creating infrastructure you know uh, at the moment musicians uh, only performing in nightclubs and bars you know because there is no music arenas you cannot take your family to go and watch a music concert because they are not you know it, it's in nightclubs and so infrastructure has to be put in place this will also translate into you know tapping talent at an early age because once you have that kind of infrastructure then you begin to tap the talent at a very young age and you begin to turn that into an economy into an actual industry and you know that will benefit everybody not only the musicians but the country as a well. what about the corporate world is there any corporate social responsibility regarding uh, the, the development of music and indeed uh, seeing, seeing musicians develop economically our corporate industry is the largest <laughs> beneficiary, I think, from musical activities. Uh, but however, you know, they've not lived up to their expectation in as far as giving back to the music industry, to the arts industry. Uh, today, uh, in Zambia, you talk of telecommunication companies that are using music as a catalyst, you know, to their, to their business through ringtones and caller IDs. But you know, the benefits are yet to be seen amongst the musicians. Some of this is even done illegally, you know, because there is no policies that are protecting the intellectual property of the musicians. And so it's important that, you know, when an economy is being created, uh, the, the policies that surround it are friendly to the people that are participating in that economy and in this case for the music industry to flourish you need to look at you know the protection of the intellectual property which is a right even in our constitution uh, but how you enforce that is another thing so the policies i spoke about come into play and you begin to grow an industry in that way then you know, you begin to develop laws that are going to work. At the moment, music can be sold anywhere on the streets in any manner, you know, without regard for that intellectual property, which is a fundamental, you know, requirement in any, in any kind of uh, business. So what sort of interaction is there between you, musicians, Zambia Association of Musicians, and just musicians in general with the corporate world, as it were, to ensure that uh, uh, the, the economic benefits of uh, music are, uh, are achieved? Well, since the assuming to office of my, my executive, we've been approaching quite a number of uh, uh, partners or would-be partners in the corporate world in the hope of uh, trying to sort of institutionalize first of all the association because as you know our association uh, has just been a, an association uh, in name but uh, in practice really we need to make our association uh, become an institution uh, from there on once you have the systems the policies in place then you begin to you know talk to people who are business minded so that you know you begin to create a business base for the members. At the end of the day, uh, the association, our hope is that the association will be a focal point in the creation of uh, you know, an economy surrounding uh, musicians and uh, people that are in the arts industry. And so we are talking to quite a number of people and uh, we hope that uh, uh, before our term expires, we will be able to uh, solidify uh, one or two partnerships, especially in the business world, going to attract the international market. But what if somebody said it has to start with you, you the musicians? 
Definitely, I agree with you, it starts with us, but I think up to this point, musicians have done so much and they can only do so much. You know, musicians are artists, they are not uh, business managers and so it's important that uh, the environment is uh, an environment that is uh, friendly to the artists is created. Here I mean an environment that is going to make an artist, you know, do the work of art and leave the businessman to do the business of the arts because it's all about showbiz. There's the show side of it which the artist will take care of and the business side of it. Unfortunately, in our situation you have to do everything you do the show then you have to chase after you know the few people that all you see these then in the end you know you are bumping with your fans you don't create that you know <laughs> you know that hype that business uh, you know excitement behind the artist that is where we've we've missed it and so it's important that that kind of environment is created so all in all, what is the way forward uh, with regard to ensuring that uh, music, particularly in Zambia, becomes um, a key tool in uh, economic development and uh, everything associated with it? I think the key uh, is to have all the stakeholders with government and my association probably in the lead, the National Arts Council, you know, we need to rethink the arts policy in the country. What do we want to do with the arts? So when you begin at that level, then you are giving, you know, uh, courage first of all to the budding, budding artists. You know, you are giving uh, an excitement to the people that are in the business of music because, you know, there is potential of the, the economic boom. Everybody will be making money when, once there is uh, tangible policies in place. And, you know, we must begin to re-educate ourselves as musicians. Our skills need to be upgraded. You know, our producers' skills also need to be upgraded. Then the infrastructure that I talked about needs to be introduced into the country. You know, we need, there is no single professional music studio in the country, so, which is a setback. How are we going to produce music at, which is, uh, at par with our international counterparts. So that kind of infrastructure in place and you know the, it, this needs huge, huge political will because once you have a government that understands the economic needs and the economic potential of any industry then everybody is going to play ball. Michael, thank you and all the best. Thank you very much, I'm humbled.